Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Santero. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I apologize for yesterday. Um, it was rainy, it was damp, it was nasty, I was in pain. I threw my back out sometime Wednesday evening at work. And just the act of sitting and trying to do this, it was not happening yesterday. I'm sorry. So, that being said, we're going to roll it out as fast as we can over this weekend and get all the readings done and up. So, next week, I can take a little bit of a break and get things done around my house. Probably by next week. Hopefully by next week. I'm not going to say definitely. But hopefully by next week, um, there's going to be a little bit of a different setup here. So a little bit of a different camera angle. Make a little bit more room. Make it a little bit easier for you guys to see the cards as they come out. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the universe allows. I'll put it to you that way. Anywho, I'm going to stop babbling. Gemini, it's time for your first half of May reading. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Gemini. Check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings as they come out. Sometimes they resonate a little bit better than your Sun sign. Just keep in mind that time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. You guys are welcome here, too. Come on in and have a seat. We'll have some coffee, throw down some cards, and have a good time. Okay. Two more shuffles for Gemini, and we'll get you on the table. here. Hmm. Gemini, why are you here? The devil reversed. Potentially disconnecting from a toxic situation. Okay. Or powerful connection. Something of that nature. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Five of Cups reversed. Do you feel like they're slowly coming out of a state of sadness? Right on. What do you think of them? Judgment reversed. Oh. Possibly they think they could be changing their mind about a situation. We'll get a little bit of clarity. What do you want from them? Strengthen the reverse. Oh. Hmm. You could be drained by this and you don't want to be drained anymore. We'll get clarity. You could possibly want them to hold back. Hang back. How do they feel about you? Ooh, okay. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. I 
They could possibly feel that you're a little codependent. What do they think of you? King of Cups in the upright. They love you to pieces. They have deep emotion for you. Or they think that you have deep emotion for them. They could see you as a very emotional person. Your person controlled by emotion. Okay. What do they want from you? Two of swords in the reverse. Ho. Oh. Take the blindfold off. They want you to see something you're not seeing. Somebody needs to make a decision here. What's the obstacle or challenge? Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone coming in from the cold. What needs to be done? Two of Wands in the reverse. I'm hearing slow down and don't make a hasty decision. Potential outcome. Ten of Wands in the reverse, unable to release a burden. Okay, okay, Gemini, we're going to get you clarity now. Mm, clarify with this one today. Oh, there it is. It's like, where did it go? Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity for Gemini, please? For the first half of May reading. A card in there that wanted to talk. I didn't see it. I didn't see what it was. I looked away. It comes back out. It comes back out. Why is the devil reversed here? Ace of Swords reversed. Possible cutoff in communication, trying to disconnect from a powerful connection, potentially toxic. <clears throat> One card. Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? For how Gemini feels about the other person. Okay, apparently you want to come out. Six of Swords reversed. You feel like they're trying to come out of a state of sadness, but they haven't moved on yet. You feel like their thoughts are very much with something else. They're trying, but it's not it's not happening. Why has judgment reversed here? For what you think of them. Ten of Swords in the upright.
Again, they're trying. They're still pulling through it. They're still coming out of it. The cycle, it, it's in process of closing. The sun is coming up, but there's still, there's still a cloud there. The cycle is ending, but there's something impeding it. Judgment reverse. There's something impeding it. Why is the strength reversed here? For what Gemini wants from the other person. Star reversed, okay. One more on that. I'm hearing they're getting in their own way. Store card reverse, strength reverse. They're holding back. They're drained. There's no healing. Four of swords, you want them to rest. You want them to lay it to rest. The four of swords comes after the three of swords, which is the heartbreak. You want, you just, you just want the process to happen. You want the process to begin and it's not beginning. Something's impeding it. They're trying. Something is just impeding it. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here? For how the other person feels about Gemini. Oh, hi. I did have a full bird. Nine of Cups reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. I heard a pitter patter of footsteps. It's probably the munchkin. Nine of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Cups reversed. They think you're codependent. They think you're not happy. You're not emotionally fulfilled. Five minutes. Okay. You're codependent. You're not happy. You're not emotionally fulfilled. Possibly they think you fill your cups with the wrong things. Or you don't fill their cups. Okay. It's how they feel. You're not filling their cup for whatever reason. Why is the King of Cups here for what they th think? Of Gemini. The Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles in reverse. There's an abundance of love and there's an abundance of happy memories, but <sighs> wow, that, that's seriously, seriously crappy. It's coming down to what you have to offer them. King of Pentacles reversed. I think you guys have been kicking the ball around for a minute. I really do. I think you guys have known each other for a long time with the Six of Cups, but what do you have to offer? They're, possibly they think, yeah, 
There's love there, but there's their stability. Why is the Two of Swords reversed here for what they want from Gemini? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. They want the stability. They want the big brick house with the white picket fence and the pool and the 2.5 kids and the dog and all that happy jazz. They want the stability. They want the security. One more on that. Because it's not making sense with the Two of Swords. You want to talk. Four of Wands. They want the foundation. They want the celebration. They want the connection. But there's a painful decision involved in the underlying this, of this. They want you to make up your mind what you want. Because they're still very impeded. They may not be ready. I don't think you guys are talking about it. I don't think this is your devil reverse, Gemini. I think this is theirs. I think they are still very much disconnecting when, from something. And there's not a lot of communication going on. You want them to just get over and get on with it. You want them to just magically get over whatever they're not over. And they may not be ready. They don't see you as a cup filler. They don't see you as stable. They see you as slightly codependent. Strange. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for the obstacle? Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed here for the obstacle? Something coming out of the cold. Knight of Swords, communication. The obstacle is communication. The obstacle is open communication. The obstacle to coming in from out of the cold with each other is... <laughs> I just, I just, the thought that just popped in. Don't believe everything you see on social media. Talk to the person. Oh, you saw a photo on their Instagram or their Twitter or whatever it is. Whatever. You, you saw something somewhere and it put an idea in your head instead of just going to ask the other party. Hey, what's up? The obstacle here is the communication. You're not talking about it. You need to talk about it. You need to talk openly and honestly about it. The Knight of Swords is the little information getter. You need to stop going to get information. You need to sit down and have a conversation. I'm not going to put another card on that. Why is the two... Yes, I am. Ace of Wands. Forward movement. After a conversation. Okay. Coming in out of the cold, finding that spark. Why is the Two of Wands reversed here? Hi! The Emperor, what needs to be done? Somebody needs to take control. One more.
Eight of Swords. Somebody's a little bit of a control freak and somebody's still wrapped up in something else. Okay, we knew this. I think the universe is just assessing the situation for you at this point. On top of a two of wands reversed, what needs to be done? Somebody needs to, you know, figure out what they're doing at the intersection. Are you turning left? Are you turning right? Are you going straight? What are you doing? The only thing you're not allowed to do is make a U-turn. It's not a roundabout. <laughs> okay, you have to figure out what you're doing. Okay. You get the tip first. Page of Wands. Communication. Communication. Full reversed and the high priest reversed. Forward movement needs to happen here. Could be a disconnection. The full reverse is saying slow down. Don't leap if you're not ready. Or the burden just gets greater. Ten of Wands reversed. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here? Just one. Thanks. Magician reversed. Unable to manifest. Possible manipulation. One more. One, no, one more. Because I don't know if this is unable to manifest or if this is manipulation. I'm not thinking this is manipulation. Ace of Pentacles reversed. No new start. No stability. You don't get the first of the ten pentacles. You don't get what you want. It just becomes a burden if you're not having the conversation about what y'all want. You need to stop. Have the conversation before you jump into anything any further. Okay, fair enough. Let's get some advice. I'm not gonna take those yet. Hold on, getting ahead of myself. <sighs> the death reversed and the five of swords in the upright. Until you change how you communicate with each other, things are not gonna change. There could possibly still be things happening behind closed doors. You need to get everything out in the open. A couple more on that. Six of Cups reversed, Empress reversed. You're going to be left with sour thoughts and sour memories, and this is not going to go anywhere. If you don't change the way you communicate with each other. Nine of Swords reversed, Eight of Wands reversed. If y'all continue to overthink this and go in all bat poop bonkers, it's not going to go anywhere. Is there going to be any forward movement? <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Pentacles reversed. It's just going to be another one of those codependent relationships with no real solid foundation.
if you don't sit down and have the conversation about what y'all want. Make sense? I think it made sense. Let me know if it made sense. Leave a comment. Or send an email. I love emails. Fan emails are great. I, I, I read them all. They're awesome. I love interacting with you guys. It's, it's genuinely wonderful. Okay. Hit the like, share, subscribe button if you haven't already. I think that would be super fun. Hit the notification bell if you would like to know when I upload. I think YouTube, you can only upload like three times in one day or something like that. I don't know. Sometimes I might do one. Sometimes I do six or seven. <laughs> Depends on how good I'm feeling that day. I would like to try to get at least four done today. We'll see how that happens. But all right. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Do what you want. It's your journey, not mine. Gemini, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I will catch you guys for the weekend top and bottom later today. And the work week top and bottom next Sunday night or Monday morning. And take care. Bless you.